Hey guys, can I tell you a quick story from from the weekend? Please. Um, I did a speaking of Pennsylvania, I did a nudist resort last weekend, and um, <laughs> go on. <laughs> You brought I, pictures. Let's show them. No, they weren't allowed, luckily, yeah, because guess what happened? I ended my set uh, getting naked and jumping in the pool. No. I did. I really did. You missed out, everyone. Uh, so you were performing for a bunch of nudists. I was. I was performing fellatio on a bunch of... No, I was yeah. not. No, but I, <laughs> I need to know. Hmm. The choice to get naked and jump in the pool... I didn't make the choice ahead of time at yeah, all. But were you like, oh no, I'm bombing. How can I save no, this? it actually went really well, which okay. is the problem. Because then, like, I was like, okay, they're into this. We're having fun. You know, this, I'm, I'm fucking with people. After something, uh, one joke didn't go well. So I took a shoe off and I was like, I was like, All right, I'm going to get you guys back for, you know, whatever. Yeah. Then it started to turn into like, for every good reaction I get, I'm going to remove another. So in my head, I'm like, I got to commit to this. This sucks, you know, because yeah. we have a, there's a pool in front of me. It's, it was yeah. people like playing volleyball and shit. Uh, anyway, by the end of it. I was like, all right, I'm done, and then I just... is the safest place to get yeah. naked and jump in a pool. Oh, no, that's how... They made me feel great about it. It was yeah. really great. Now, okay, is it one of the things... I know Nancy and I have been in this scenario. You've been in nudist or, scenarios, no, Nancy? No, but you're not expecting to maybe take your clothes off. Like, maybe you're out mm -hmm. on a date or something, and, like, one thing leads well, to I'm another. I'm certainly not expecting it then. I, the dates don't go well, so. But were you, like, oh, no, I wish I wore different underpants? Like, was it one of those <laughs> scenarios, like... Like, had I known I'd be taking off all of my clothing, no, I would have because, chosen a different pair. Because here's what happened. Yeah, right. I, someone yelled about, um, I think they said boxers or briefs or something stupid. And I had to reveal that I don't wear underwear. Oh. So then that made them yell more. Not because they particularly like me, but just because they were like, let's get this asshole fucking naked and, yeah. you know. So, yeah, it, everything just worked in my favor. I got free drinks afterward. I got a t-shirt, much like You're here. Naked. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I have a question. Hmm. What what is the age demographic? What's the uh, what's the what are these that I hope it's sixty five. Oh, it was a it was a, a sweet sixteen party. I think it was not. And, no, uh, <laughs> they're, they're no, it was it was older. mostly old. It was yeah. yeah. yeah I don't think yeah. there was maybe a few scattered people under forty five. I would say. Yeah. So, I don't know. But they were all very nice and... Did you see, like, a really hot 70-year-old woman? I saw a somewhat manageable, maybe 50. Manageable. 50-something. Great. Uh, <laughs> a lot more... I mean, the dudes... The dudes, I think, are worse off. Yeah. But at the same time, men are more judgy, I think, physically than, than women. So it's... I don't know. Well... Us women can judge. Oh, no. no, Joe. Come on now. So uh, my mother uh, kind of... Goodness. I can't say she was a nudist. Where is this was like a subset of her entire life. But she, she did like to go to a lot of nude beaches. I'd been to nude beaches when I was a teenager a few times with her. I've been on a few nude beaches. Whatever. That's totally wait, wait, different. Wait, wait, wait. What? Is that a, that's a thing? Teenagers on a nude beach? Oh my God. Or is this it's in Europe least, or something? Yeah, this is in Martha's video. Oh. Kids, oh. whatever, right? Mm. Rich, yeah, like, naked people. Rich, naked people. Yeah. Very different. But, um, uh, Epstein kind of but, stuff. No. Uh, <laughs> but um, she asked me once, because I'm a journalist, she asked me oh, about 20 years ago, she's like, so Nancy, I'm going to go to this nudist retreat, this like nudist colony. Why don't you come and you can write a story about it? I was like, Mom, there are... I'd like to write every other story in the history of stories mm -hmm. before going to a, a nudist resort with my mother. Yeah. So, no, yeah. I, I was, that would not be interesting. Yeah, why don't no. you do a photo book on it? That'd yeah, be cute. Yeah, That'd yeah. Be... Now, we have Chris who studied psychology, and sure. you who apparently know a lot of nudists. <laughs> <laughs> what What is the psychology, do you, th you think, behind it, behind just the not wearing of clothing? Is mm -hmm. it maybe something that happened in childhood that they're like, this is freeing? Or is it about, like, rules and wanting to, to break away from them? Or mm. just, like, not liking the feeling of clothing? Like, is it... I think there's a bit of a kind of, like, 
I'm a libertine. I'm way more sophisticated than you people. And also it's just like, look how randy I am. I mean, these are older people. These are not like 15 year olds. 15 year olds don't need to be naked in a group. They just want to go bang somewhere. It's sure. like not <laughs> a big thing, right? Sure. Their identity. But you get older and it's like, yeah, I'm so, I'm so free. I'm so liberated. And I- yeah. there is an element. I do, I do think, I do think there is that whole thing where they, there's like the whole non-judgment, you know, they, they want to feel free and, but whatever, but there isn't a subtextual <laughs> understanding that these are probably also people open to maybe swinger activity. Mm-hmm. So you go to a place where, you know, we're all just, we're on the same page here, you know? So all you need is a little hint and they go, we got it. We'll be in room, you know, whatever the fuck. And then, uh, so I have, cause I, there was a few jokes where I was making fun of my own sort of sex shit and, and I realized that they kind of pulled away cause they were like, they were like, yeah, we don't know what it's like to not have sex ever. Like they're just all like, we just fuck all the time. Yeah, or to like feel yeah. shame or. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then I had to move away from those jokes cause they just don't, they're like, listen, we don't know what it's like to just like, you know, yeah. not have our dick out in people's faces all the time. Yeah. So. I had a, a friend years ago who was a swinger, and she's like, you want to watch this documentary with me? I'm like, all right. And it was mostly, like, old, rich swingers at some, like, house that was, like, some modernized Brady Bunch pad or something. Again, we get it. You know Epstein, all right? So, Just <laughs> These people looked so incredibly bored. It was like, yeah, they did, and there was literally, like, this one guy just going on, just like... <laughs> It's like so they were bored. It's like too much. It's like too many cream puffs on the buffet. Yeah. You know? There is a part of me that wonders if at these swingers parties, it's sort of like going to a PR event where you're like, this is fun. <laughs> like, it's cool. I'm getting free stuff. I'm like, it's yeah. cool. I'm like, gonna have sex with lots of people. But there's a part of you that's like, I really just want to go home. Yeah. You know, I wonder if yeah. there is that element yeah. of like, it's people just rising to the occasion just because but also, they, like they have to. What's the I mean, what's the what's like the really amazing thing about sex? I mean, I'm sure everybody has their different things that they like. Yeah. But mostly it's because you kind of like don't know what's gonna happen and you can be mm. vulnerable and be intimate and it's just you and this person or people or whatever you like, whatever it's like this special thing when it's just like splap for everybody to see. But like, <laughs> what is what is this? This is not yeah. this is not sexy. At some point, it becomes a group workout class, exactly. and I don't like those because no, it becomes competitive. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I was going to say. There's also a little bit of, like, what, remember when you were younger and if people wanted to do, like, truth or dare or some shit? It's always because someone's hoping they get dared to kiss a certain person. But then yes. it always goes wrong because then, like, in my case, they're like, oh— Chris is, he's funny. Let's make him kiss this fucking asshole that no one likes over here. Yeah. And it's like, that's not why I'm playing this game. So there's a lot of people that I think that's what they're thinking they're going to get in the good stuff, but then no one really likes them and they kind of just get pushed off on the side and they're like, well, I'm still do, do you play, free. Did you play like in seventh grade? I remember there was one called Seven Minutes in Heaven. Sure. Yeah. And like you'd go into the closet with, you know, Ben and like you guys would like stand there like Ben and then just talk because like what are you gonna do make out for seven minutes when you're seven oh. minutes is a long That's fucking a long time, time too yeah. like I don't I think we would literally just get in there and like talk yeah <laughs> like, I don't know that I ever played seven minutes in heaven <laughs> oh there's still time Joe uh, you know what there is but all of my closets are are filled with bulk items yeah. bulk toilet paper. And and paper towels, so I can't. my seven minutes in heaven is yeah. like going cleaning out my closet. It's hell, really? <laughs> yeah, you have several years in hell uh, headed your way. I'm gonna refold all of these, these <laughs> towels in this linen closet. Yeah, that sounds like fun. It's heavenly. It's hot. Um, <laughs> speaking of.